What's bumping? It's your boy Duncan. Timestamps down below. And we got a few things that happened at the end of July in the last episode that we got to cover right here. And the first thing that happened is that we're at 96 points until getting that gold archetype, whichever it will be. And I'm kind of hyped to get it because I really want to see what it's going to be either Billy the Kid or Pedro. And we're looking at the trades too. And I asked last episode what happened to Jazz Chisholm. It looks like we actually traded him for Tristan McKenzie. And we also acquired some other guys like Victor Reyes and Samuel Infante. So, hey, I guess we're strengthening our roster. You know, that's that's what we got to do. We're 53 and 53 right now. We're third in the division. Guys, let's hop to the first save right here. Come on. You know what we got to do. We got some training. We here, they not. Come on. So our first appearance right here is against the Nationals, 6, 7, 8. Five to nine right here. We throw the four seam fastball in on Kate um, Ruiz. And look right here, man. He just takes that right into the middle part of the field. Ends up scoring a run, bringing the runner over to third. It is what it is. A little fatigued right there, you know. We were seven pitches in. But hey, you know what? I'm cool with it. Because I came back and I got his man into the next appearance right here with the curveball. Nice and sweet for the second out. You know how we doing it right here, boys. Come on. Let's get it. It's six to nine. That was what? Pitch number 11 at that point, number 12. So, you know, we got to keep it up. Let's get it. Come on. Now we got the next batter up to the plate gives us a little assist right here for the last out just like that save number 27 of the year boys come on we here on them we here they not let's get it we on to that live time all right boys all right we here with it five six and seven five to two against the mets man i'm not even gonna lie our team has taken a real dive ever since the appearance against the nationals i hit that play next appearance to hop into the next game and it didn't even they didn't even call upon us in about 10 or 11 days and I, oh my goodness like it's insane but that's a good strikeout right there though i'm not gonna lie jd davis he's pretty good but it, it's insane to me how you know we're still not at the point where we need a closer and we trade away our best player jazz chisholm our best upcoming player for a pitcher and someone who is like Chisholm but isn't quite up to the standard of him. And we give up what looks like a double right here, which kind of sucks, but hey, it is what it is. Can we reel this in though? But it, that type of thing, you know, it just doesn't, it, it gets me mad. And you know what even gets me more bad? The dude that they traded for is the reason why I had to change my number. He's number zero. So, you know, that, oh man, kind of irks me right there, but hey, it is what it is. Let's try to get the strikeout right here. It's 0-1. Let's go. A good little ground ball right there. From second over to first. That's what we want right there. Bottom of the ninth. Eight pitches in, boys. Come on. Come on. We got to be militant on these. Number eight, batter up to the plate. 0 for 3. Jeff McNeil. Come on, guys. We need to get a strikeout. And that was a terrible. That was a terrible sequence right there. Come on. Come on. Let's pinpoint this. Let's go. 1-1 one, one right there. That's what we want. That's what we want. Let's see if the backdoor curve can catch the zone. It does just that. Hits a little bit too much of it, but hey, it's going to be an error, and we give away a run. Please don't let that be an earned run on me. Please don't let that be an earned run on me, because that would make me really, really mad. That's a routine play. But hopefully this is a routine play as well for the center fielder to get the final out against the Mets boys. Good little away game right there. Save number 27 or 28 on the year. 28 in the year, boom, right there. Let's hit that play next appearance right here. Let's see what happens to get an appearance. We don't, I'ma hop back into it. I'ma catch on that next save, come on, man. All right, boys, come on. We got one, two, and three, five to three, bottom of the ninth against the Red Sox, man. Come on, and we're away again. Maybe it could help us out. Maybe it could help us out though. Come on, it's 1-2 right here. He swings and misses on it. Let's go, let's go, come on. That's gonna be a good little out right there for the first one of the game. We're five pitches in, just what you wanna see. Come on, come on. Who's the next batter? Steven Duggar up to the plate. Come on, guys, come on. Let's get a strikeout here. We need another one, I want another one. We need that ERA lower. We need the hits to be lower, and he breaks his, ugh. Let's throw it one more time in on his legs, come on. Makes contact. Come on. Is our second baseman going to make the play? He does just that for the second out. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, boys. Come on. Xander Bogart's up to the plate. 
You know what we got to do. We got to get him out of here. Thank you for the comebacker. You love to see it. I love my little assist. That's just what I want. Retire the side in order. Challenge complete. Let's get it, boys. Save number 29 on the year. Come on. We on to the next one, boys. We here. They not. All righty, boys. Let's get it. We got 9-1-2 and two against the Arizona Diamondbacks. Retire the side in order. It's 1-0 against the 9-hole right here. And he has some good pop on this one, but our center fielder is going to make a routine play right here. Nice and easy for the first out. That was our second pitch right there. Nice and calm, boys. 2-1. to one. Got to remember, so we got to be smart on these pitches. So we go come out here and dot up that outside corner with the cutter, baby. Let's get it. We here, they not. You get how we doing it right here against Josh Rojas. I'm pretty sure he's a, a former Met as well. So, you know, I had to show him a little bit of love right there. I had to show him a little bit of love. Look at that. Perfectly dotted up that corner. Now we got Pavin Smith up to the plate. I don't throw this pitch that well, but hey, it is what it is. We end up putting it right in the spot where it needs to be. And it gets us the out right there. Save number 29 of the year, boys. Come on. You know how we doing it. We here, they not. Come on. All right, guys. All right. For the last save of the episode, we got a 2-3-4 against the Philadelphia Phillies right now. Come on. Let's see what we got against them. This is actually the first game in August. Oh, no. First game in September. Um, we didn't get an appearance in the last um, game against the Rockies the last series. So, we jumped right into this series right here. Show off this last appearance. You know, got to end off on a, on a good note and on a strong note because this Phillies team is in our division and, you know, they're right below us. You know, we're, we're third place right now, guys. So, you know, we just got to be better. That's just what it is. Like our team, we just got to put ourselves in better positions and this clearly isn't helping right here. We got the former MVP up to the plate, Bryce Harper. We got to be smart on these pitches. We really do. Any ball that is taken, ooh, it could be a home run, a double, anything. You know, this dude has some serious pop in his bat. So we got to be careful. We got to be careful. Stole second, and we get the out. Let's go. Let's go. Our catcher right there comes up big. That's a big time pickoff right there. Great pop time. Great throw. Great play. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. One, two right now. One out. Come on, guys. Can we get him out of here with a circle change? It doesn't catch the zone. Still 1-2, we're eight pitches in. Come on, what can we do? We get the strikeout with the curveball, baby. Let's go, let's go. We here, they not. Come on, you know the vibes, guys. Come on. Number four batter, Trey Mancini up to the plate. He calls that a strike. I don't know how, but hey, got to show that ump some love, man. Gave us that strike right there. And he gives us another one right there with the 0-2. Completely swings and misses on that. Can we get the last out? Right here with the curveball. He push he pushes it in between the second baseman and the first. Dang. It's our second hit given up in this appearance right here. But hey, it is what it is. It is what it is, guys. Come on. We can do this. We can be better. Come on. 1-0 right now against Scott can agree. Come on. Let's put this pitch in a smart spot. And please don't tell me he took this out. Please don't tell me he took this. Let's go. That is gonna be the last out of the episode. Let's just check out the standings and the reliever of the year to end the softballs. We here, they not. Save number 31. Come on. So we're still third in the division right now. We're six games back from second place, boys. Man, it's not what you want to see. We're not moving up. We're kind of staying in that same spot. And we're also third in reliever of the year as well. I don't know what's up with us in third place right now, but that sucks. That just sucks. We're leading the race in strikeouts, it looks like. Our ERA is extremely low as well, but we just don't have enough appearances to make do. Maybe if we were perfect in 32 and 32, we would be second, but Lucas Sims just has 13 more saves than us. So, you know, it's going to be a lot harder to make, um, make some way up. You know, it is what it is though, but hey, it's fine. We're 66 and 70. We got one more month left in the season. So we're going to take care of that in the next episode, boys. 31 saves, 61 strikeouts, 1.31 ERA. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like, comment some feedback, share this with a friend, and subscribe if you haven't. You already know, we throwing up the O. It's Dunkin' No Donuts. Have a nice day, y'all. Keep doing y'all thing. Peace.